Hey, what's going on, my friend? Welcome back to another episode of Fix It Rick. My name is Ricky Burrows. If you are having a problem with the fan in your microwave, you can hear the microwave working, but there's no fan sound. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix it. So let's fix it. So the most important thing you gotta do before you start working on this microwave is pet Mr. Pumpkin. Second most important thing you gotta do is you gotta find the power cord for where your microwave is plugged in and unplug it. What you need to do next is you need to get this guard off so you take your finger and push down so that the guard comes right off. Next, take a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew this screw right here. So to give myself some room, we're gonna open this up. Next, you wanna push up, pull out, and then there's this little tab. When you pull that out, you'll get a little bit more room. Now that we have the back of the control panel completely exposed, what you want to find is the fan right over here. You want to go ahead and try to spin it and see if there's any kind of obstructions. Okay, so now that we know for sure that there's no obstructions, that the fan is spinning freely, we have to find the wires that are attached to the fan and then trace them back. If this is the first time you've ever opened up a microwave or looked at anything, I highly recommend that you don't touch the microwave for 15 minutes. Let the excess power that's in the capacitors drain out out, and then you can stick your hands inside of here. Now we physically trace the wire all the way back to this connector. And this connector is going to this little device. This is our problem right here. It's called a relay and these get stuck all the time. So what you need to do is you need to simply tap on it about 10 or 15 times. This is a little switch that turns the fan on. So if it gets stuck internally inside, it won't turn the fan on. So what you just did is you simply tapped on it a bunch of times and you have to give it a good smack in order for it to open back up. Now the only reason why I disconnected this little cable is so that I could unplug it and I can have more room. So let's go ahead and put this cable right back. There's only one place for this little connector to go. Easy to figure out where it has to go back to. Plus the connector is fitted in a certain way so it can't be put on backward. When you hear a click, it's good. Okay, so what you wanna do next is you wanna look at the little feet that grab these holes and then you wanna push them right back in and they're on both sides so you have to slip them in and then you have to press them down see how it's nice and snug and won't come out but we're going to secure it with the screw we took off first with the phillips head screwdriver screw that screw back in let's go ahead and close this and you can see how this vent is shaped to fit and cover this one little spot and you just go ahead and push it back in now let's go ahead and plug in the microwave so i gotta hit clear and then you hit you can hear the fan blowing again. And there you have it. So you just fixed your microwave fan. Good job. If you found that this video was helpful, I appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And always remember that Jesus Christ loves you and only he can solve your biggest problem.